my loves thanks for returning as you know about the thumbnail this video is going to be a faves and fails video and i have a little bit of everything i have lifestyle skincare hair care products so with all that being said let's go ahead and get into it all right first up i have to show you all the cutest shirt that my husband brought me he went to the rumble on the river biker rally and look at this shirt it's so cute that is so adores balls. I love anything that's got any type of glitter or rhinestone, anything like that, I'm definitely gonna love it. So let's get into the video. I wanna go ahead and start off with hair care products. And I'm not sure if I have mentioned this brand to you, but I really love it. If you have coarse hair and you tend to have an issue when wash day comes around and you get ready to comb through your hair after you washed it, if you use the Intersense Hydrating Cream Hair Bath, this works so good. It's really hard for me to find a shampoo that won't just totally strip my hair. And I see a lot that say, oh, for coarse hair, hydrating, and then I try it and it just tears my hair to pieces. So this one has always worked. I was hip to this by my daughter. I tend to go in her bathroom and kind of shop around and see, cause she's really meticulous with the type of hair products that she uses. I also had the Innersense Hydrating Cream Conditioner. This is it. But mostly I want to brag about the shampoo because it will not strip your hair. It's amazing. And if you haven't tried it, you definitely got to check it out. All right, so next I want to get into skincare and I have the Dermalogica Daily Milk Foliant. This is a calming oat based powder exfoliant comes in a packaging like this. I believe that any skincare routine needs some type of exfoliant. You need something that is uh, going to slough off those dead skin cells. This is not a cleanser. It may feel like a cleanser once you use it because it kind of sets up just a little bit, but it's definitely an exfoliant. And I tend to use it, you can use it every day, but I use it about three times a week. And it is a powder. So if you can kind of, not sure if you, <laughs> I see the little box going everywhere but the right place. But anyway, it's a powder and it's activated by water. So if you want a thin uh, consistency, more water, a thicker consistency, less water. The way that I like to use it, I'll apply it and just kind of let it sit. Let's say I'm using it in the morning. I may go get some coffee, you know, make, you know, get my coffee together, or I might do something else just for a couple of minutes. And then I'll come back and I'll rinse it off and I'll go with, go on with the rest of my steps. But this is super good. And it, it literally smells like oatmeal. So, you know, if that's, a bit of a turn off to you you might want to try their other one i have the other one back there i didn't bring it up here with me but they have another one that um, is not oat based so definitely check either one of them out all right so next up i have a hydrating moisturizer and this is the omega water cream lightweight hydrating um, moisturizer and it says that you can use it in the a.m. and the p.m. this is by inky list I love all of their skincare it works really well uh, the only thing that I don't like about it is that you just get a little bit and I think that that is why the prices are like so affordable you only get a little bit but this particular moisturizer um, when you apply it it literally feels like water okay then once you rub it in and it absorbs into your skin yeah uh, your skin does feel hydrated so it's not one of those uh, water-based uh, moisturizers that after you put it in you know your skin feels like you haven't put anything on your face definitely not that so I've been using this I do need to purchase some more because again like I said you only get a little bit and I want to apologize about the lighting there's a window right there and so the lighting may shift in and out so please forgive that next up I have a makeup excuse me eye and lip makeup Makeup remover by Elemis this is it and I like to use it for the eyes and the lips sometimes depending on the type of lip uh, liquid lipstick that I use it can be a little bit tough to get off um, even with a lip balm but um, I just use a little bit of this and it comes off literally with one swipe 
same with the eyes and when using this one you don't get that um, like film or haze that you normally do if you use a balm so uh, even though this is on the pricier side you only need a little bit just a little bit a little bit goes a long way and can take off literally a lot of makeup all right so let's get into the makeup I have some eyeshadow palettes here and these are by Revlon these are the Revlon so fierce prismatic palettes here they are and I think they have a total of let's see four I have two more I'm not sure what they are I gotta I gotta look through them I recently moved a couple of months back and it seems like so much of my makeup clothes and everything is missing I almost kind of get the feeling that we'll restore our clothes maybe somebody went through it I don't know that's off topic for another day but either way these are really nice uh, they are um, more of the shimmery metallic type of uh, eyeshadow palettes there's one in here this one right here the deeper shade can come across as a little bit of matte but you still do see some shimmer in it and let me just see if I can swatch a few for you out of this palette so just so you can see and they're so easy to use if you don't want to use a brush you can definitely just stick your finger in there and that's what I love about it it's really easy to use you can't go wrong so these let's see if it will focus so those are the shades swatch so these are drugstore very affordable easy to use and I really like them all right next up I have a setting powder by the lip bar and this is set the tone finishing powder this is it and if you have not tried their line you definitely have to try it I have their skin tint their um uh, blush I have the concealer I have like a gold metallic eyeshadow what else do I have? I've got the powder. Um, they've made some other things uh, in that line. Um, if you want to check it out, all of their products are good. I especially like the tint. If you have mature skin like I do, definitely check out the tint because you will love it. All right, so next up I have a highlighter and this is by Mango People. This is the packaging. And if you are one that um, you don't wear makeup, like you don't wear foundation or a powder, you just maybe wear lipstick and eyeliner. There are some ladies that do that. This would be a good thing to add just, you know, in your highlighted areas. Look at that. Can you see that? That is so pretty. And then just to kind of, I don't want to say totally mix it in with your moisturizer, but let's say take a little moisturizer that you use and put it on your back of your hand along with this and kind of mix it in and where, you know, place it along here or right here, wherever you want that glow. That would be so beautiful. I've done that before because uh, a lot of times I just elect to wear lipstick. I'll do my skincare and I might do a liner and lashes. I won't even do my brows, you know, <laughs> just uh, in an effort to keep it as minimalistic as possible. That's definitely a look that you really will see a lot of people doing. All right, so next up I have some fragrances and you know, ladies, we can't forget about our significant other and Sauvage by Dior all over the internet. Yes, I know, but this has got to be the most masculine sexy scent ever on earth this is the type of scent if you're looking for a scent to buy your significant other and you need to do a blind buy you can do a blind buy and he will absolutely love it this is not the type of scent where it, it can be unisex you know a woman can wear it or a man can wear it it's like if a woman does wear it she's she's really going to smell masculine but this to me is totally a hundred percent a man's man uh scent and i love it i love it to death <laughs> i love it so much that i've restricted my husband uh, to use it only at the house you can't wear this out no mm -mm. you can wear the stinky stuff out <laughs> but not the good stuff out all right next up i have a vanilla scent by vulgari and this is little literally vanilla that's it that's all it is and i just like to mix it with some of my other scents uh, just to kind of have a hint of vanilla because vanilla is just kind of a universal scent that i think every everybody or mostly everybody loves and this one is so nice it does have a lot of power so you don't need a lot um, this is on the pricier side i can't remember how much i paid for it but 
when I bought this, I was specifically looking for a scent that only had vanilla. And this particular line had other scents, but it was just one concentrated scent in the bottle. And I love this because it allows me to just kind of change up the scent of other fragrances, which I tend to do a lot. Um, I tend to kind of make uh, fragrances my own, you know, what I want to smell like. All right, so the last one that I have is the My Burberry Black. And this one, um, if I'm not mistaken, this one has patchouli in it. Mm, but this smells so good. Oh my goodness, I have to get a larger bottle. I love this. This type of scent is the type of scent where when you wear it, it's going to linger on. Like after you leave, it will still be in that space. And you don't even have to put on a lot of this. This is a very con concentrated, it's got a lot of sillage. You're gonna smell it. If you spray it on your clothes, you're gonna have to wash your clothes to get the scent out. That's how it is. It's so lovely. Mm. And also, this fragrance, in my opinion, wouldn't be good for a blind buy. You would definitely have to smell it to see if it's something that you would like. Even put it on your skin, because a lot of fragrances, when you put it on your skin, it kind of turns it into something else. You can turn it to something beautiful, or you can turn it to something dangerous. <laughs> so, the next time you're in Sephora or whatever fragrance store that you like to frequent, definitely check this one out. All right, so now I'm going to get into lifestyle and I want to talk about this baby um, this is a wallet that my YouTube bestie bought me for my birthday this is a coach wallet and I love it I specifically love how it zips okay and I love the two-tone the red and the brown and when you open it up it's got a space for your coins it's got a space for you know your cash your credit cards whatever and I love you know, wearing it, you know, like this a lot. Like I, if I have to go to the grocery store real fast or to run an errand. I love, love these type of wallets. And it's so funny when I opened it up, I called her and I was like, I have a purse just like this. I have a part like with this part right here. I love it. Mm, thank you, Nisi. All right, so let's talk about shapewear. Okay, if you are a girl that wears shapewear and you're looking for something that's gonna hold you in place, Okay, you gotta try this one. This one is by Metformin and I have it in a large. Okay, I will try to find it and online and show it to you. It looks like this, okay? And what I like, the things that I like about it is that the, the front part of it, you know, you can put your straps and then whatever bra you're wearing is not disturbed. Okay, so the straps kind of sit on the outer part a little bit. I really love like how in the back, do you see how it's kind of rounded in the back? All of that covers your butt. And when you're walking through the day, it doesn't just kind of ease up in your butt. You know, I cannot stand shape for <laughs> <laughs> shape where that does that and of course it's got the little snap at the bottom so you can use the restroom and it's very silky so whatever clothes that you wear it will stay in place um, it's really nice if you're into shapewear and you're looking for something that's gonna hold you and shape you literally even if you got love handles like I do you have to try this and I do have some more of their, their shapewear which I like uh, but I really like that one when I need not to move at all then I'm gonna wear that one <laughs> And when I say move, I'm talking about my, my jelly rolls and jiggles. All right, so next up, this particular um, item is has been around a long time, but I like the scent. This is the Free Breeze Air Wood Scent, and this has uh, the scents are Amber, Oud, and Cedar Wood, and I like to use this scent in my husband's study, and it smells so good, so masculine. And when you spray it, you don't, again, this is another product that you don't don't need a lot but I still use a lot of it to spray it and on the back it says it's a hundred percent natural propellant water base and with a corn derived odor eliminator guys this is so good I have some other scents but this one is the business all right last up let's talk about some fails I do have a few all right one that I want to talk about is by Sigma this is their sick magic brush shampoo liquid this does not work for me at all if you have this and this cleans your brushes 
please let me know specifically the steps you use I know you're supposed to shake it up I mean I when I use a lot of it they'll kind of get clean but it says that it's a brush cleaner formulated with natural ingredients maybe that's why I'm not sure but I've used other brush cleaners that take you know clean your brushes just like that so but this was a total waste I think this this booger was like $20 or something very disappointed and the other fail for me is this water cream uh, this is by Dr. Jart plus this is the Vita Hydra solution hydro pump water cream and you know when I bought this somehow some way I overlooked that it has fragrance and you all know that I particularly pr would prefer not to use a product that has fragrance but it just kind of depends I might be able to stand it um, and it, it, it that's like maybe but this particular cream I love the fact that it's got good ingredients in it I love the way it feels I love how it, it makes my skin look but the scent is so strong till after you've had it on for 30 minutes or even an hour you still smell it it's like putting perfume on your face so I'm not sure if they were trying and it looks like water literally okay it's a very light cooling moisturizer feel feels really good it's just that fragrance so this is a total fail for me I'm gonna see if I can take this back because the fragrance is just too strong all right guys short and sweet that's all of my faves and fails let me know if you've tried any of the products if you have how well did they work for you and how well did they not work for you let me know down in the comments I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches